the touchline here on Y254. We are still sticking with Mara Sports here on Y254, telling you everything that has been happening and is still happening in the world of sports. Remember, Uganda decides and we are following up on that story, but it is the touchline and we are talking about everything sports. We are still hanging out with the, the pundit himself, Maxwell Wasike, on Twitter is... Mr. Pandit. Mr. Pandit on Twitter. It is at Mirumbi Osoro on Twitter and at Y254 channel. That's where we are on social media. You can stream also online on Facebook. We are there and giving you everything when it comes to the world of sports. We are joined by the one and only Mualimu Kombo. That's how we call him here mm -hmm. on Y254. And everything when it comes to the world of rugby, he can tell you everything that has been happening. It has been a while. We have only talked about rugby for a time now, Mualimu. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. <laughs> Thank you. Good for to see you, man. <laughs> inviting me. Yeah. Yeah. So, the world is on a standstill now. Uganda, they're electing Robert Kiangulan is there. Yeah. We've been talking about uh, Wokorachi, but how are you doing? So far. And by the way, talking about yeah. Uganda decides. Yeah. Just yeah. an update <laughs> coming in. Yeah. Because the man serving as FA president of Uganda, Moses Magogo, yeah. has been elected Budiope East Member of Parliament. Was all Robert having schooled in Uganda? Yeah. Tell us about Budiope. Do you know the place? Budiope? Yeah. That, that has got to be somewhere in uh, western Uganda. I'm not sure. I'm not yes. certain about it. <laughs> but I think now yeah. that one tells us that, you know, people are using sporting leadership positions to. Rise to politics. Is Malim Kombo also trying to do that? <laughs> <laughs> he's the director of yeah. youth and development at the Kenya Rugby Union. And it's about time we catch up on what has been happening in the world of rugby here in Kenya and the world of considering that the COVID-19 pandemic came in and disrupted everything. And rugby as a sport is not yet back as others have been coming back very slowly. So, yeah. Malim, what has been happening in your world? Uh, well, uh, the way uh, you've said, uh, COVID actually has uh, really uh, taken a, a big toll for the game. Yes. But we are working out probably, yeah, you see, the way you saw, we were about to finish uh, Kenya Cup uh, last season. Yes. Yeah, we were coming towards the playoffs, but we were not able because of um, when, when the when the, had the pandemic now striking in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we had to stop because of uh, the government protocols and um, yes. we find that now we had to... To, to adhere to the protocols. Yeah. But now uh, the government is allowing the game to be back. Now mm -hmm. I've seen the national team, they are training, uh, mm -hmm. the Olympic, the Lioness and uh, the Shuja. Yeah. Yeah, they, they are, they are Ac back and training. Actually, that, that, that has <coughs> got to be the major talking point, uh, preparedness. How are we preparing, considering that the Olympics is this year also? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so the, the the players are already in the camp, and yeah. uh, probably you've seen on the social media on how they are they are preparing. And mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, in fact, um, NMS was there. They are doing yes. the the tests, the t the COVID tests, mm -hmm. and I think uh, that's that's a, that's a, that's a good thing because now the government also coming in such in a sense a way that sort of to assist yes. the game to be back fully. Mm -hmm. um, so they were preparing for for Tokyo, and we hope we'll be able to do well. And the final time is also running, uh, mm -hmm. despite of uh, <laughs> issues in Japan also. <laughs> yes. I've been following uh, mm -hmm. Japan media and um, okay, the uncertainty is also about the Olympic in Japan and the yes. other countries also across the world. And you see this time round our national teams led by Shujan Lionesses have to defy all odds and perform, surpass yeah. their previous performance. Yeah, w what happened uh, in Rio. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's that's where, that's where the target now. And defending yeah. the coach probably, you know, when a coach is preparing the team, he also has to, based on the past, to see where they were, where 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 the, the weakness were and where the yes. strength and also look at the opponent. Probably you start the opponent. And I think um, they're working on that so that we'll be able to do well and get a, a gold. You know, I know Nok, Nok might be really much yes. also focusing on the team so mm -hmm. that uh, we can also be able to increase our tally in terms of the medals uh, in uh, in, when, uh, when it comes to Tokyo Olympic. Yeah. <coughs> and yes. most of our opponents are keeping an eye on Kenya, considering how we've performed very well at the international stage during HSBC World 7 Series, uh, the yeah. likes of Colin Sinjera, one of the top try scorers. So most of our opponents must be keeping a keen uh, development on Kenyan preparedness. And uh, is that also probably uh, uh, going forward, seeking to work in our favor? 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, seven, seven, seven rugby, and I've been a coach of seven, and I've won gold for Kenya in, uh, with the high school. Yeah. And uh, seven is anybody's game, and so you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you yeah. need to prepare well and yeah. uh, get focused on it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you, if you, the team realizes a certain weakness in your side, you you, you might, they might they might capitalize on that and you lose. But I know what the coach are looking at. They are focusing mm -hmm. on strengthening all the sides yes. uh, so that when we come to now facing our opponents uh, in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I would be okay. And probably uh, they're also lining up a series of um, friendly matches yeah. so that we get ourselves where the, we the, are. That was the conversation <coughs> that the team was to leave for Spain. And there had been a, an invitational tournament for the team in preparedness for the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the way it's come out. And mm -hmm. uh, that's, one, that, that's, that's an area of, uh, of uh, preparing for, mm -hmm. for Olympics. So if yeah. you go and play against other teams so mm -hmm. you can be able to know uh, how strong are you. You can be able to improve on your weakness and your strength mm -hmm. also. So that you become an all-round team, and mm. when you go, you'll be okay. Well, so you know there have been arguments surrounding the comparison contrast yes. between Kenya uh, sevens, not necessarily Kenya sevens, between sevens mm. rugby and fifteens. With some saying that you know sevens is just cosmetics, rugby yeah. itself is fifteens. <laughs> I know your response on the same has got some finality, yeah. considering you you are key stakeholder. You've played rugby at the big stage yourself. What do you think? Let's end it. Today, this particular afternoon, <laughs> 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 yeah, finish that debate. Yeah. <laughs> you want to finish that debate between sevens and fifteen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, fifteen, fifteen is very involving, and you know, with that fifteen, it's that's what the rugby guys say. It's real rugby, yes. uh, <laughs> because it involves of uh, quite a number of players. You have mm -hmm. the backs and the, the forwards, and yes. uh, we find that now they, they, the coach has to probably sometimes they do have two coaches. Like now, mm -hmm. when you see uh, what South Africans are doing, the current coach, the yes. defense coach for the Springboks, mm -hmm. when they won the the World Cup in, uh, in, in, in Tokyo, in Japan. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we have the forwards. And mm -hmm. when you look at the forwards of South Africa, mm -hmm. it was feared by the older yes. teams. It was <laughs> called a bomb squad. Yeah. They could bring in the second uh, uh -huh. substitution and they could make a big difference uh, on the game. Yeah. So the, 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 the issue of sevens and uh, fifteen, that's why I was saying sevens is anybody's game. If yes. you <laughs> can play, but fifteens, yeah. unless you put some professionalism in it, it's very hard yeah. to, uh, actually, to, to play. Actually, talking about fifteens, uh, last year, Michael Tan Cotieno, yeah. the coach for KCB, got a PhD. Oh yeah, uh, the <laughs> black blood. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he got a, a PhD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doctor on any um, yeah. tank. Yeah. Yeah. We have quite a number of um, guys mm -hmm. in rugby. Um, in rugby, they they've uh, gone ahead and um, doing well so much in, yes. in studies. I know. So, yeah, so, so I think that that thought was good for for Tang and having mm -hmm. been a. Um, uh, uh, played a big role towards yes. the Kenyan rugby, the development of Kenyan rugby. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we need to congratulate him for that. Very much. Mm -hmm. And now, c considering that uh, it is the COVID-19 pandemic and every, everything is on a standstill more so in rugby, how are the players faring on at the moment? Uh, okay, now no, that, that, that one depends with the, the clubs and also the, the coaches and uh, like what we are doing with the under-18, yes. uh, with uh, uh, Paul Murunga. We find mm -hmm. that we've been keeping track with the, the players and uh, also yes. sending up the, the program for them. Yes. Then we monitor them through the online. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, apart from that, we also have um, the T&E, which mm -hmm. is going on. And the government has restricted uh, the contract yes. part, but you see now areas where we don't have contact, the program have, uh, have been running and you find yes. that now we've been Im be able to improve our capacity mm -hmm. in terms of uh, T and E. Yes. Uh, so that's in the times of our match, of, match officials, we have the coaches, mm -hmm. um, there are also an S and C uh, and the, the side of also medics. So that when now we resume, we'll be able, we have enough capacity, we, we have enough uh, personnel yes. to be able to assist the, the game to run. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look at the side of the players, it's mm -hmm. the clubs and uh, the coaches, they have been having probably their own program yes. uh, with the with the, with the players, mm -hmm. so that just to keep uh, in touch with base with the, the yes. players. Well, him, like you know, in other sporting disciplines like volleyball, the head coach of Malkia Strikers is his name is Bitok. Uh, Paul Bitok, Paul who Bitok has been making a follow up on his players through you know online mechanisms, WhatsApp, even players training, yeah. and you know he's just checking the progress yes. of the players' fitness levels. Is that also applicable? How relevant can it be used in rugby as well? No, in fact, that's what I was saying. Uh, that's part of uh, the program that yes. we've, we've been using. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the YouTube, uh, we have yeah. um, the, the, the recording of the program. Uh, it's, it's easy because now 
where, where the world is heading is sliding towards the technology world. Yes. yes. Whereby, and a good example, I think this guy of um, the, the, the athlete, I think he had seen the world coming to that, mm -hmm. the YouTube man. Julius Yego. Yeah. Julius Yego, Yeah, yes. you know he was training through <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. And he went and won the The javelin. The yeah. javelin, yes. yeah. So it's, we, once you embrace the technology, mm -hmm. you'll be able also to be able to, 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 to meet some of the, the targets that yes. you are looking at. Because you cannot just leave um, everything in a vacuum. Yeah. We, we need also to see that at least the program is, is running. It's running. And that's where the coaches have, um, have, have, have gone so far. Yeah. Even the, the national team, that's initially, that's why the, there was that program, the online thing. Yeah. Before now, the government allowed in for the resume for the national team training. It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. We are still here with Mualim Kombo and Maxwell Wasika, the pundit himself. And we are talking matters rugby at this moment. But also, as we are talking of everything that is happening in the world of sports at the moment, rugby has not been coming, has not has not actually been allowed to come back because it is a very serious contact sport. But it's also a year where there are many things happening, Mualim, considering that the rugby calendar is still on. Yeah. So this year is uh, the rugby calendar. Uh, well, we, we, we we're supposed to be hosting Bathurst. Yes. And uh, that's for under 20. And remember, uh, last year we were, the 2019, Yes. Uh, we, we qualified and went to represent uh, the continent of Africa in Brazil. Yes. And uh, pro we also have, we're also looking forward to host that because uh, we are given the right to host it for the next three years. Yes. It's unfortunate that we were not able to do it last year in uh, May. So we, we are anticipating to have it again this year. Then we also uh, have the Gold Cup also is coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. That's where Simba is supposed to participate. Yes. And probably once the calendar comes out, we'll be able to uh, prepare and also participate. And also, if you look also at the World Cup qualifying for 2023 mm -hmm. uh, in France, yes. uh, it's also, the teams are also starting now working out mm -hmm. to start preparing for that. I saw Zim uh, mm -hmm. a few uh, months ago. They were launching it, uh, I say it's South Africa, Springbok did it in, 20, mm -hmm. in 18 months yes. to win the, the World Cup. Uh, so teams are uh, working out uh, the program mm -hmm. to start uh, preparing. So we also on the course, we yeah. also have uh, the Lioness mm -hmm. <coughs> also working out for their own program. We have the Ripper Judge coming up yeah. uh, for World Cup qualifying. So mm -hmm. if we, 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 we make it at the Ripper Judge. They'll be in a better position to make it to the World Cup. To the World Cup. Quite a bloated yeah. schedule for uh, yeah, you know, yeah, Kenyan teams in Kenya. terms of international events. So yeah. you and I have, you know, fond memories of uh, uh, it's called Bats Cup. The Bats Cup that yeah. happened. The last time we took part in the country was in 2018. It was where Kenya beat Brazil in the final at Namibia, Namibia mm, yes, and yeah. you know qualified to take part mm. in Brazilian tournament. And now, as a man in charge of youth development, yeah. how have you been keeping tabs? On the young ones, of course, Bath tournament is meant for under 20 players, yeah. especially those who've played in that particular competition and, you know, their progress levels because there has to be continuity. Yeah, sure. Uh, how have you been keeping tabs on the juniors to ensure that, you know, they progress step higher to the national team? Uh, yeah, well, uh, we found that uh, last year the, the, the players were in the camp and they were preparing for... for, for, for the Bates Cup yes. uh, to, to be able to qualify again mm -hmm. for uh, Madrid yeah. for uh, World, World Junior Championship. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what, what uh, but now you see now has uh, progressed another year. Probably you might find the others now are graduating to not be under 20 to 21 years old. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what we've done, we've, uh, we've run the program, the age grade program, mm -hmm. that's for under 18 yes. our program. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a uh, uh, coach and uh, the SNC guys, you know, they have been going around uh, the, the country, but see now mm -hmm. just to to be able to monitor and see the players who will be able now to be ready for, uh, in case we, we invite them for the camp. Yeah. And that one has been done. And even the coaches who are <coughs> high school coaches, they have also gone through the program, the S and the, the T and E program, mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, as much as uh, they are within their, their own setup, once yeah. everything is now brought back, you find that now it's easy because we've already identified those players. We can be able to invite them in the camp, and also we have uh, the online uh, individual training, mm -hmm. which which is uh, which which is uh, doing well, especially in the other countries also. Yeah. So we've also tried to impress it where we have to monitor, especially the the the, 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 the under 18, mm -hmm. because that's the next group um, yes. where, that we are looking for, and probably also high educators also are there. Yes. But the only thing is that we've identified them. So the key thing is once everything now resumes, once the government gives an okay. Now it will be very easy for us to bring them, then we continue with their training. 
And as we are still catching up on everything that has happened, we have got to talk about the transfers too. Yeah. Joshua Chisanga is back and is now signed for Harlequins. Oh yeah, that's good news also <laughs> for Harlequins. <laughs> <laughs> so that means another bring another competition again uh, in Kenya. You know, transfers are good because uh, normally they strengthen the team and also they, it also improves the the competition of uh, mm -hmm. the clubs and also yeah. be able, it also uplifts the the, the game. Yeah, uh, which is uh, something good. Uh, probably is come back. And uh, we are expecting to see a, 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 a very competitive uh, a Kenya Cup uh, this year. Yeah. Once, once we, we, once the, the league resumes. And just like yeah. in football, you know, there are a few teams that have dominated headlines: Gorma, FC Leopard, Tasca, and so applies to rugby as well. Because KCB, Cabras Rugby Football Club, Homeboys, what are other teams doing to step up and give you know much needed competition to the heavyweights? Because it looks like, you know, it's a, a field dominated by specific, a few clubs. Uh, well, well, well. My team, <laughs> Western Bulls, already got relegated. Osoro's <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <Ozoros kisi> as well. <laughs> no, we have made my shit. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Oh, but also got relegated. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I think it's just progressive and how you prepare yourself. Um, find that now a club that probably has a high performance, uh, yes. taking them through the structure, uh, well structured and well conditioned, if, uh, you, you can be able to, to compete well. Yes. And uh, you, when you look at the, the, the league, you find that it's, it's not just been uh, in recent past. That's when we've seen Cabras come come mm. come top and also KCB. Yeah. But initially, it used to be Harlequins and Impala mm -hmm. and even Mwamba. Yeah. Yeah. So so it's it's it changes. Uh, None these are uh, initially in the 80s and 90s they were mm -hmm. champions and they won. They won road best clubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they were winning. Yeah. So there there are changes and mm -hmm. this goes on how to pre uh, preparation now like mm -hmm. you see now uh, uh, what this uh, what the transfer mm -hmm. uh, when they are signing about people like Chisanga. You know, yes. that, that tells us probably they are also preparing. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have a good squad, well yeah. prepared, the next two years things might change again. So it goes on like that in terms of uh, how the team prepares itself for. Your final word, Malimu, what do you expect this year? Well, uh, we, we expect um, things to come to normal. We've seen uh, France, uh, Six Nations, they are not yes. playing. We've mm -hmm. seen uh, some of the matches, we've seen South Africa Bulls fielding mm -hmm. um, the second string team yes. to play against the Puma. So it, 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 it is a tough, it is tough time for the, the, the world of uh, rugby. And we are anticipating that things will be able to normalize. Uh, the vaccine is coming up so that now we go back, people go back to the stadium, players yeah. go back to play. Because mm -hmm. there are many people who, who, uh, who earn through sports. Yes. But see now, it's like they are, job, they are rendered jobless. Mm -hmm. So if things normalize, they'll go back and uh, we continue from where we are. And uh, we, we also improve on our ranking and coach, coaches take up their, their role. So we are anticipating that things will normalize and we'll be able to do well and come back to where we are. Malim, towards the end of last year, I spoke to Gangla Odor, KRU president, and he authoritatively told me that, you know, Kenya Cup campaign will be starting in February. That's still the case because, you know, we pondering nowadays after the show, man, yeah. we very idle. There's no way we can go and catch the <laughs> local action. And we don't want to, <laughs> to, to watch, man, you as no, yeah. we, we want yeah. to be a bit Kenyan patriot. So yeah. when is the league resuming? Yeah, we're hoping so, because we're also missing the game. Uh, mm -hmm. So we hope so if um, things can be okay, the government gives an, a not, we can yes. be able to kick over in February. Yeah. But I know with, uh, things are working out, probably the chairman might uh, be announcing soon when yeah. the league will be kicking off. There's a big probability that the league will be back in February. Yeah, that, that's why we're leaving it to the chairman. We'll be able yes. now to come and announce it officially. So okay. that we, we, but we also, we'll be happy to see that the leagues uh, start in January. Yeah. In February, sorry. Oh, sorry, you know, Malim, Malim is chair and founder of Comras Rugby Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's playing down there. Yes. And you know, for him to set a good example, we need to see his team now playing at the big stage in public domain in Kenya Cup. I don't know. When are we seeing that, Malim? Uh, well, you know me, I'm a development guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get players, yeah, develop yeah. them, then send them up the, yeah. the ladder. You, you, you can, rugby, you can play anyway. Mm -hmm. Even championship, even the nation, uh, nationwide, Kenya yes. Cup. Mm -hmm. So long as a player is playing rugby, mm -hmm. that, that's good. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it's good for development. You can, the good thing is you want to see this player, the path of this player. Mm -hmm. He's been at high school, he's, at, he's gone to nationwide, he's gone to probably played for under 20, 
city. Mm -hmm. He's going to play for seven for the national team. Yeah. I think that, that that's the best thing uh, you can see in a, in a, in a rugby player. Yeah. And uh, that's part of uh, the development. That's what it's been for many years down the line. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We appreciate you coming here on the show here on the Tachel Malum Combo. Comrade Sarah and is the Youth and Development Director at the Kenya Rugby Union. Let's go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll be playing the highlights of Wayne Mark Rooney here on the Tachel.